All right, doing my chain adjustment. So you can see what, how I jacked up the bike on the other one. Um, I had a hard time finding the tight spot on this bike uh, but because my chain was actually a lot looser than I thought. Getting the nut off here, uh, I started with this. So I asked it, pretty please, can you come off? And then I went to, I wasn't asking. So I just lo loosened it. So you don't have to take it right off. You just got to loosen it. I've already uh, cracked this nut here. But what I did is I took a marker just so you, in case you, you lose where you were and you have to go back to start. I just basically marked uh, that just to, to uh, have a reference point. So now what I'm going to do is I got everything loosened up. Uh, I'm going to find my tight spot again as I go. I got, I'm going to back it up maybe a, a half a turn on each side just to, uh, yeah, see right now I can do it by hand. So that's about a half turn. The idea is to stay even <laughs> as much as possible. Uh, do the same on this side. So I can do the, uh, that one I'll need a wrench. And the idea is to keep your alignment. You're going to have to be doing some measurements and stuff like that to keep your alignment. But uh, get all your wrenches. I, it basically took me longer to get everything that I needed than it will actually take me to do this. So, so anyway, so yeah, make sure I'm going the right way. So that was about. Actually, get it to. Am I going the right way? No, I'm going the wrong way. Just keep. So just. Okay, here we go. So we're back to where we were. Okay, so. Don't do too much at a time, and then go check your tight spot, which will do that. Very hard to do this one-handed. I might have to jack up the bike a bit more. But I'm looking for just how much play. Basically, they call for 25 millimeters or to 35 millimeters, so an inch to an inch and a quarter. This usually just so that's really loose there, so I know that my adjustment. I know I should have found it, but again, that's how loose the chain is. So yeah, so my my two spots are somewhere around here. Yeah, so right around here is where the tight spot's going to be. Um, gonna do a little. Make sure your tire again is off the ground. I know there's some guys that'll do this adjustment on the ground. I'm not comfortable with doing that. Okay, so again, we're gonna go uh, one, one. Ah, freaking flies! Oh my god, they're back today. Two. Okay, gentle, and then you're gonna measure things after too before you tighten everything down too. Uh, and then uh, here's a one. Uh, you could, some people measure from here to the center. You can measure from here to here as well. Uh, this is why I, I made the reference points of where to start. Kind of get an idea of uh, once the lock nut is tightened down, if it's past the mark, then you know you went back too far. But anyway, so, oh yeah, that, that made a big difference. Now, I'm going to check, uh, I'm going to do a bit of trial and error because I, I kind of didn't screw up, but it's just my chain was so loose I couldn't find a tight spot in the chain. Again, it's been 8,000 kilometers since I've adjusted, even though it was a new chain. Uh, <laughs> we'll just say this chain's been working stress-free for a little bit while, uh, but I'm going to just play around with it. But basically, when you find the tight, uh, a chain will run tight in a few spots uh, as you turn the wheel. It'll run tight at two spots, on the top, or on the bottom and on the top, okay? And there's gonna be one spot where it absolutely runs the tightest and that's where you adjust from about center away whatever so a tight spot here tight spot here you lift up on the chain you lift down on the chain you can get out your measuring tape and measure the, the play difference I always went half inch at the tight spot but I always just pulled down but if you pull up too you can see as, as you do this up and down you can see how much travel I got there that's just about right that, that that'll be a probably a full travel of about an inch there maybe a little 
maybe a little tighter. I don't want to run too tight because I'm on Quebec roads. So I think I'll run it at the 35 mil, which is about an inch and a quarter, uh, rather than at the uh, the 25. If you're racing, maybe you'd go with the 25 mil, which is one inch um, play, uh, because you're on a smoother track. But if you're on rough roads, maybe you want to put a little extra slack in there, give your suspension a little bit more travel. Uh, you don't want the suspension to top out or bottom out, but you also don't want to have it so stiff that when you hit a hard bump that your suspension can't work and it all the low, all that shock goes into the chain and you end up blowing the chain. All right, so anyway, I'm gonna play around with it again. I'll take my measurements before I lock down the axle nut, but uh, just to show you what, what you start off with, what I did uh, with the tire on the ground so nothing was moving, uh, I, I broke, I cracked that nut first. Uh, the lock nut and this is going to be according to the manual on this it might vary on your bike but basically 27 newton meters so what that registers to normal people is um, basically about half inch past the tight spot three quarters of an inch past the tight spot so when the nut touches when you go to lock it down just turn about three quarters of a turn try it there uh, when you do your test run, don't go very far for the first test. Like, don't just, okay, my chain's adjusted, now I'm going to go uh, you know, on a 500-mile run. Just go do, like, a kilometer or two, come back, check everything, make sure everything is tight, monitor it for the week. You never know, and then uh, you go there. But uh, the big one is to, to do everything even, two turns on this, two turns on that. Don't do, like, five turns on one side and then whatever. Just do... Make sure you, you move everything. Uh, you'll find once th this side will move easier than the other side because the other side has the loading of the chain on there. Uh, so keep that in mind. So do one side, then do the other side. Keep them even. And if you lose your count, again, get back to your mark. So bring it all the way back in. Make sure when the lock nut's there, you can still see where your mark was. And uh, that way you're not going past and, and you can keep even. Then uh, what I'm going to measure is uh, just from center point from here to here. Because all this stuff is in the way. And if I'm trying to go from the, the pivot arm with a tape out here, it's like, nah, nah, nah. You know, it's like, uh, you can do that. You can do it from any anywhere you want. But the, as long as it's consistent on both sides so that your, your wheel isn't... Uh, going that you'll notice that when you're riding if your alignment's out your tire will tell you just by how it's where you can see like this tire it's worn perfect like this if my alignment's out it's going to wear to one side or the other and you don't want that uh there's always yes there's the road uh, slant or whatever but uh that another topic for another time so anyway i'm going to get to it and uh, adjust it then when i'm ready to lock it down i'll show you 